Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Wichita Wind Surge and the Omaha Storm Chasers. Now in the box, Gosuke Kato. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Two two. Here it is. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And our game time temperature this evening a nice 74 degrees. Really good at bat here from the leadoff hitter as he'll force him to throw another one. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And there's one away. Now with the play, Jazz Chisholm, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And the pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Another try at 2 2. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in. But he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. The left fielder, Matt Kent. The 2 1 home. Ball. Three balls, one strike. And he misses again here. It's ball four, and that's back to back walks here with one away. The right Settling in now, Jesus Sanchez. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Still one and two as he fouls it away. From the belt, the pitch. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Now at the plate, Scott Spindler comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. He set the payoff pitch, and he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Christian Lopes, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Stepping in now, Ryan LaVarnway. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Peterson is there to make the catch and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. Into the box now, Bobby Witt Jr. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. The pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So striding forward now, Blake Perkins. He'll swing it from the left side right here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Swing and a little blooper to center, and that's in there. Base hit.
batting third, the first baseman, Ryan McBroom. Standing in now, Ryan McBroom. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Late now is the designated hitter, Batting Nick four. Prado, as he'll the look to bring home that hitter. tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Prado. One and one, here it is. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Driven nicely into the gap. Perkins is on his way home. One run scores. Here's a second runner around third. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Batting fifth. The center fielder. Nick Heath. Into the box now. Nick Heath. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Batting fifth. The second baseman. Jimmy. At the plate, Jimmy Govern. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Second inning set to go. And up next, the infielder, Sean Rodriguez. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Into the corner and slicing foul. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Digging in, Magnera Sierra is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Perkins will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in to try it again. Gosuke Kato. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Count remains full. Rodriguez. A runner at first with one gone in the inning. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Ready for another chance? Jazz Chisholm. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Drilled on the ground to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, Kelvin Gutierrez. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. To the plate now, MJ Melendez. On, he pops it up. Kemp coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Batting up. The right fielder. At the plate now, Court Peterson. He swings and misses. And 
an offline throw, but he gets the tag down, and he is out at third. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. He pulls into second safely as also on the play, a run comes across to score. The cooked-up Bobby Witt Jr. So now to the plate, Bobby Witt Jr. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Digging in the switch hitter, Blake Perkins. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Still a ball and two strikes. Two out here and a runner at second. Misses, ball two. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. The first baseman, number nine. Stepping in now, Ryan McBroom. Full count now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Two down, runners at first and second. And this is hit hard to the right side but foul. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. Top of the third set to get underway and stepping forth is the left fielder Matt Kemp. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Kemp in front at three and one. Oh, definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full now count. Do you sit changeup? Or do you stay with the heater? He froze him on the breaking ball that time. Matt Kemp becomes the first out of the inning. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. now. The third base. Striding into the box, Scott, Scott Spindler. Spindler. He drew a base on balls his first time up. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Curve ball locks him up. Strike three, and that's the third out. Now batting, Nick Heath looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Still two and two. Line to shortstop and there's one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Jimmy Govern. One out, nobody on. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Three two pitch. 
And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The third baseman, number 16. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Kelvin Gutierrez. He singled his last time up. Line drive to center field. Sierra is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. In now, MJ Melendez. He reached on a single in his first try. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one two is at the knees and called strike three. All set for the start of the inning and striding forward the designated hitter Christian Lopes. A one and one count. Here's the pitch and he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Two and two. That swing looked kind of out of control to me. Looked like he was trying to dial nine. But when you're down by four runs early in the game, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And this is swung on and missed. And this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. The one one home. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Ready now. now. Sean Rodriguez base. reached base John. via the walk in his first Rodriguez. plate appearance. The 1-1 one, one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's one strike two. two. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. And it's fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count heater. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Magnaria Sierra. Into the box now. Magnaria Sierra. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Three and two now. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Court Peterson. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ready once again, Bobby Witt Jr. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now batter. No left fielder. Wood. Perkins. Standing in now, Blake Perkins. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. The 2-1 home. This is pulled into right. Sanchez is there. Two down. Digging in once again. Ryan McBroom. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. McBroom. Now a move over to first. And he'll dive back in safely. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. And there's.
There's a line drive base hit to left field. Now batter, the designated hitter, Nick Prado. At the plate, Nick Prado. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Junior Marte, a six-foot-two-inch right-hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Ready for another shot now. Gosuke Kato, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. 1 and 2 now as this catches the outer half. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now another 1-2. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now Coming back. to the plate now, Jazz Chisholm. Jazz Chisholm. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Now batting. Lucky. Striding in, Matt Kemp. He looked to bounce Kemp. back after striking out his last time up. And, Matty, it was a pretty nasty breaking ball that buckled this guy. That has to be in the back of his mind as he walks to the plate right here. Has to protect against looking foolish again on the off speed. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Cody Poti, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Cody Poti. Digging in, Nick Heath. He's one for two in the ballgame. The one two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Stepping up now, Jimmy Govern. Faces are empty, one man out. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. Kelvin Gutierrez is on deck. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And it's gone as they add still another. Into the box, Kelvin Gutierrez. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. To the plate now, MJ Melendez. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Sierra's under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Court Peterson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Waiting on it now is Kemp, and he puts it away to retire the side. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jesus Sanchez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. 
Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now batting. Third baseman. Scott Kingway. Stepping in now, Scott Spindler. A ball and two strikes now. To two balls and two strikes now. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. No one out with a runner at second. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Perkins has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So striding in, Christian Lopes, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. From the belt, the pitch. Line towards center field. And that's in there, base hit. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. That makes it a 7-2 to two game. The catcher, number 36. Ryan. Into the box LeVarnway. now. Ryan LaVarnway. And he popped him up. In there. A base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that the first base. John Rodriguez. At the plate now. Sean Rodriguez. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Bobby Witt Jr. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. The 3 1. Grounded to the right, scooped up. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now back. Riding in once again, Blake Perkins. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now the 2 1 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Two out, nobody on. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Strike two called and it's even at two. Here now the 2-2. And this is pop foul but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. The 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Golden Caps will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Number 54, 
Stepping into the box, Magnera Sierra. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in goes K. Kato. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. I just tried to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's 2-2. Two and two. Hit back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Now batting. What the? Jazz. Standing in now. Jazz Chisholm. Swing and a liner. And a leaping effort, but it's off his glove. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. So coming to the plate, Matt Kemp. He flew out in his last at bat. Matt Kemp. Now Kemp awaits the 1 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. And that's going to be high two and two now. Has a look. Now the pitch. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Trevor Rosenthal will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. So now to the plate, Jesus Sanchez. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Josh Smith gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in is the DH, Nick Prado. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Sierra's under it. One down. Now at the plate, Nick the Keith. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Keith. One out, nobody on. Lined into right, a base hit. At the plate, Jimmy Govern. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hard hit ball towards the hole. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. The third baseman, number 16, Kelvin. To the plate now, Kelvin Gutierrez. Full count, three balls and two strikes. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Kelvin Gutierrez becomes out number two this inning. 1-1. Two men are on with two men out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. 
Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. The walk would be good here, too. That's lifted the other way out to left. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just a one run will be allowed to score. Into the box, Court Peterson. And this is low, ball two, two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. 2-2. Uh, Lifted in the air out to left. Kemp giving chase. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Richard Lovelady has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 55. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Scott Spindler. Line drive to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Now that the designated hitter, Christian. And now Christian Lopes fouled off. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping into the box, Ryan LaVarnway. He's working on a one for three thus far. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another one-two delivery. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Keith is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in, Sean Rodriguez. He's working on a one for two game so far. Swung on and missed three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Yeah. Set. Here's the 3 1. Line to the right side. And a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Brett Graves is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And stepping up as the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Changeup called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Hops this one up. Chisholm ranging into the outfield. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now battle. No left field. Stepping in now, Blake Perkins. He stays alive, still two and two. On the stretch and he lays off the curveball strike three called and that's going to be out number one now with the plate Ryan McBroom he's got a hit in three at bats to this point the one one home now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now a look now the pitch this one skied out toward right Sanchez is there two down 
Striding forward now is the DH, Nick Prado. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He pulls this one into right, and that'll get by and on through towards the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. The bat, the center fielder. Nick. Keith. Standing in now, Nick Heath. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. The 3 2 one more time. This is lined into left field, and he delivers a big base hit. The relay. The throw, and he's tagged out at second. That ends the inning, but two runs do count on the play. At the plate, Gosuke Kato ripped down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. He'll get it into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batting, the shortstop, Jazz Chisholm. To the plate now, Jazz Chisholm. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Has a look, now the pitch. A runner at second, nobody out. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses 3-2. and two. More trouble waiting on deck in the person of Matt Kemp. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Randy Rosario comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Matt Kemp will be his first test out of the bullpen. And it will be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. In for strike two. Line toward the gap in left center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Coteau isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. He will score. And the deficit now stands at five. Now about it. The right field. Jesus. Into the box Sanchez. now. Jesus Sanchez. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. This is the matchup you'd like as a pitcher, right? Lefty on left. But sometimes you don't win all of the battles. Gave this guy a pitch to hit, and he made him pay for it. At the plate now, Scott Spindler. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. To short. Throw on to first in time, one away. Greg Holland answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. At the plate, Christian Lopes. Two hits in four attempts to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Holland. Originally from the Tar Heel state of North Carolina. This is a swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. There's a swing and a high pop-up. McBroom waits on it to gone. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan LaVarnway. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 
even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. And there's ball two now. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the time run to the plate. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Now the three and two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. He brings it in, and they have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year so far. This one wraps up as a 10-8 final. Omaha hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Junior Marte gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Colton Mahoney was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Omaha Storm Chasers, 10 runs, 17 hits. No errors, they left 10 men on base. For the win surge, eight runs on 11 hits. One error, they left nine men on base.